Yo, what's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the slow performance, FPS drops and a bit of lag while gaming. This can be because of the high process, the thread and the handle count of the CPU so if you want to fix it, so hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive into the video. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for the optimization of your ping while you play games. Using your wired or wireless connection, so get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping. In this video, I will be showing you some best optimization some best method that will be reducing the process, that's straight in the handle count. First click on even though search type registry. Click on registry editor from the suggestion. Click on yes. The registry editor box will be up. Now here from the left and mini option, you will have to click on a skill local machine. Just make a double click. Then you have to look for system. Double click on it. Then you have to look for current control set. Double click on it then click on control. And once you click on control on the right hand side, you will find some kind of keys there. You have to look for the one by the name FVC holes. To split threshold in KB. You have to look for this key. Once you get it just make a double click on it. And here we have to change this value data, that depend, that what kind of RAM you have on your computer. So depending on your RAM, I'm sharing a list that you can see on the right hand side. So depending you are using the 4GB 6, 812, 2432, whatever you are using just look over the number. And you have to type exactly the same number. In the value data on my computer, I have physical memory that is RAM of 4GB. So for 4GB I will enter for 0. 0, zero. zero that is for 100,000. Then I have to click on OK. So once you are done now, you will have to close it. So now go to my website I give link in the description. And download the reduced processes pack from this website and follow me. First run the order and program and follow Now me. here you have to look for the logon tab. Click on it. Now here you have to uncheck all those application. All those programs that you don't want. That it should come along with the computer. The Microsoft Edge launch. I don't need it so I will uncheck it. OneDrive and check it. Google Chrome Microsoft Edge. If you don't want that, it should come along with the computer. Go ahead and check them once you are done. Click on the scheduled task tab. And there also look for the task that you don't need. That it should come along with the computer. The Google update I don't want so I will uncheck it. Google update task machine. I don't need it then we have Microsoft Edge update. I really don't need it Edge update OneDrive. OneDrive I will uncheck whatever I don't need okay. So on your end it can be less or more. So look over all the tasks scheduled here. Whichever you don't need. And you can go ahead and uncheck it. Then you will have to click on the services in there. Whichever services you don't need. Just go ahead and check them. Then finally you will have to click on file. Click on save. And you can save this file to any of your location. Once done now you can close it. Next click on windows search again. Type power identity. You will find all kind of power plan here. Now here you have to go either with the high performance or the ultimate performance. If you don't find over here, then you can click on show additional plans. If you don't find the ultimate performance, then you have to click on your window search. Type CM right click on command prompt. Choose an as admin. Click on yes down the black window. You have to type a command that you'll be getting in the FPS boost pack. So copy it, make a right click and it will be automatically pasted. And once it's been done, and this time you will find that the ultimate performance has been enabled. So you will have to check this option. As a next step guys, I'm gonna recommend you the GI Booster, which you can try it for absolutely With free. the link in description, just make sure that you launch the tool and select Fortnite, and it's gonna automatically find for you the best DNS server in your near for the least amount of latency. As you can see, I only get 11 milliseconds latency, which is giving me already a huge improvement of over 100%. I've been using this for any game switch. I'm playing here right now on my PC. And the best part about it is, it's also searching actively in the background. While you're actually playing for the best DNS servers, it's consistently also showing you, you the connection between your PC and the router and the router and the actual game server. So therefore as mentioned, make sure you check with it out. the link in description. Click on your window search again. Type CM. Right click on command prompt click run as admin. Click on yes the black window will be up. Now here, you have to again paste a command that you'll be getting. In the FPS Boost Pack once you have copy, right-click on the desktop identity key. This is a deep loader that is from Chris Titus. And it's a very good tool to optimize your Windows 11. And once you come up here from the top mini option, 
you have to click on to X. Then here you have to select. You are using a desktop or laptop, so depending what you're using, select it. And it will automatically check many of the options. In the essential tweak, it has not checked the deleted profile, so I will check all of them. You can read them if you want to avoid any one of them. Then you can uncheck it. Then on the right hand side you'll find advanced tweak. So you can read here that what exactly you need. If you want to disable the UAC user account control, you can disable it. I want to disable notification trade calendar. Then I want to remove OneDrive. If you want to remove Microsoft Edge, then you can also check this option. And rest seems to be okay. So now once you are done simply click on run to wait. This will be running the tweak now. And you will have to wait here until it's all been completed. And once it will be done then finally, you will have to optimize your Chrome browser as well. Okay now, we are only remaining with the final step where we have to disable many unwanted services. Click on the window search type services. Click on services from the suggestion. Now in the services you will find many kind of services. And many of the services are unwanted. And running at the background and occupying a lot of resources. Now, I've already created a video on this topic. You can check that video for a detail, information that what all exactly you have to disable. But I will still share a few of them. Like you can come to the B section and look for the BitLocker. Drive encryption if you're not using the BitLocker. Then make a right click on it. Startup type choose it to disable. Stop the service click on apply. Click on OK save you have to do with the Bluetooth. If you're not using the Bluetooth, then disable all these three Bluetooth services. Then you have connected user experience and telemetry. Double click on it just disable the service. Click on install. Click on apply click on OK. Again scroll down diagnostic system host. Double click on it. Disable it click on stop. Click on apply click on OK. Downloaded maps manager double click on it. Disable it apply OK. Parental control. If you're not using any kind of parental control on your PC or laptop, then again you can go ahead and disable this. So all whatever you're not using, you have to go ahead and disable them. Phone service. If you're not using the phone service, you can go ahead and disable them. Bring this cooler. If you're not using any kind of printer on this device, then you can go ahead and disable the printer and the fax service. Then you have to look for the sys main again. Look for it. Disable it. Click on a stop. Click on apply. Click on OK. And then there are many more services like wallet, service and many other. So look for the video that I created so that you can disable all these unwanted services. Now I believe this is the huge difference. More than half of the counter being decreased. And now you can see the utilization that was around 45. 40% now it has been reduced to 8 and 10%. Now where these resources are being reduced. Now you will be having the higher performance. You will be not having any kind of flag.